Now, your news on the go. The Southeast Highway Department taking a tough hit after a very large fire erupted inside the building Saturday night. And we're told all seven snowplow trucks there were either damaged or destroyed. The fire chief calling the building a total loss. It took crews about two hours to put out the fire after it started around 7.30 Saturday night. Thankfully, no one was injured, but the town is now working to figure out how to make up for the damaged plows. The Syracuse Police Department is investigating a shooting after a 19-year-old was shot sitting inside a parked car. Police responded to the 100 block of Colbert Street just before 10 Saturday night. That's where they found the injured man. Now, the victim was taken to the hospital for treatment and is expected to be okay. But if you have any information about this, give police a call at 315-442-5222. In Tompkins County, an Ithaca police officer is still recovering after being attacked by a man with a large knife inside of the police headquarters. The suspect, 57-year-old Michael DeCastro, was shot and killed just after 624 Saturday morning. Police saying seconds after DeCastro was let into the building, he attacked the officer with a 9-inch butcher-type knife. Now, police say the attack was unprovoked and that DeCastro did not know that officer. Governor Andrew Cuomo pushing for proposals as part of his state of the state agenda, one of which is to eliminate the, quote, pink tax. Cuomo says that he'll push legislation banning gender-based price differences for similar goods and services. Now, Cuomo cited research that indicated women often pay more for items like toys, clothing, and personal care products. The proposal would require certain service providers to post price lists for standard services. Happening today in Oswego County, donations are being accepted for a Fulton family of 12 who are now displaced after their house caught on fire Saturday afternoon. The family of four adults and eight children are being helped by the community of Fulton. Donation drop-offs are beginning today, and that'll, those will be accepted from 8 to 3 p.m. at Fairgreave Elementary School in Fulton. If you're not sure what the family needs, we have a suggested list of items on our website at localsyr.com.